try something new. <laughs> Groupers love saddle prints. They go for it like crazy. Lunch time. Where am I going again? How I am preserving the fish to pass it from the gills. I will snag it behind here. So I'm going to put the fish full of saddle prints. What exactly am I going to do today? Mm. I'm, go I'm going fishing. I want to try something new and do my best to see if the whole effort will pay off because yeah, it's not gonna be easy guys. Definitely not. These roads guys are night. Usually, after a hard road, there is a hard path we have to pass. Where am I going again? Ha. I really don't know. But, what I know is that I have to climb. Climb. Go up and climb. Cliffs, rocks and sea. That's my life. Finally, ah, rocks and deep blue and shallow there, looks fantastic, let's give it a try. Guys, I'm in this nice balcony of the Aegean that it's full of saddle brims, but I want to catch a grouper. Groupers love saddle prints. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to use gravity runner in saddle brim color. <laughs> Let's see, huh? Let's try, let's try. Today is going to be a spot fishing day. I will spend my day on this cape because I don't have anywhere else to go. It's impossible to walk after that. So, it's going to be a bit different than the walking videos you have used me to. I chose this hour because now the Meltemi, the strong seasonal wind, starts to grow. This will motivate the fish to strike. This area is full of saddle brings and these conditions motivate them to move around. Groupers know from where they are passing and they lurk underneath. I will allow Gravity Runner to reach the bottom but not touch it. My plan is to bring it along the dropping of the rocks. If there are some groupers there, once they see this saddle prim, they will go for it. I have no doubt about that. Now imagine a saddle brim running, flashing, bending from one side to another, as gravity runners do, looking like a shocked saddle brim. The perfect crime. It seems that I got a nice fish. It reacts like a grouper.
This is an awesome fish. On previous videos with uh, light game fishing, we have all witnessed groupers trying to steal and sometimes actually stealing my saddle brims from my light uh, tackle gear. They love saddle brims, they, especially in the summer, groupers love to eat saddle brims. Now in the summer that the uh, sardine is really few, they and saddle brims are really a lot the groupers adjust their diet and they love this small blue pointy fish this is why I made a real imitation with a strong characteristic black mark on the tail bordered by white I don't believe they will uh, ignore this lure eh? so guys many of you are asking me especially in the summer uh, what I am doing, uh, how I am preserving the fish that I want to keep for, uh, for eating. I'm going to show you in the summer months, because when you walk a lot, you cannot <laughs> take with you a nice box. So this is the easiest thing I am doing. The big respect for the fish, for your catch, is to eat it fresh and not make it not spoil it and eventually throw it in the garbage this is unacceptable if you cannot uh, keep your uh, fish fresh uh, if you don't think that you can make it release it okay so i have this this is a rope on this uh, thing i don't know how it's called so it's about uh, 10 meters maybe a bit more and it has on the side this clip you see that yeah and here i have a nice grouper that i really want to eat tonight uh i have killed it i, I don't want to show that but yeah a knife on the brain is the most uh, human way to take a life of a fish without uh, let it uh, suffering so i'm going to take the clip and pass it from the gills like that and clip it on itself outside here the temperature at the moment is 38 38 degrees 39 somewhere like that so with this temperature this fish will not uh, hold more than uh, half one hour I even in the shadow the temperature is more than 30 degrees and this will spoil the fish it will make the fat of the fish melt and uh, also the the stomach uh, int and intestines uh, all the food that there is inside it's, it will start to smell bad and it will pass on the meat of the fish and we really don't want that the the temperature now of the sea today is 25 degrees much lower than the external temperature so i'm going here this area is protected from the waves and i will tell you why i'm saying that so i'm going to put the fish inside and i will leave some rope and snag it and eventually i will snag it i will snag it behind here to secure it so yes this way I prolong at least for two hours the quality of the fish now 
if you let the fish alive you have uh, many hours but it's really cruel to have a live fish hanging from that rope I mean come on huh? we got it I don't think it's a uh, I don't know, it's how anybody feels. I don't feel right. Maybe some others do. So my suggestion is to simply kill the fish on the same moment that you take it out of the water. Now, uh, why we prefer covered areas rather than uh, the sea? Because the swell or the waves will uh, rub the rope or uh, uh, hit the fish on the rocks so all the scales will uh, come out and it will look uh, terrible and believe me when i want to eat a fish i i prefer to see it really really yummy and delicious and not really scarred so that's the way i am holding and preserving the fish during the summer it's the easiest and more light thing that you can carry with you and uh, do your stuff of course on this rope you can put more fish if you want not just one just make sure you have a strong uh, rope with some uh, kevlar inside uh, to be sure that it will not eventually rub from the teeth or the rocks and you lose your fish first of all you have to, to respect your catch your catch gave its life to entertain you and eventually uh, feed you Come on, eh? we have to respect. We are not gods, we are not super anglers. We are just people that enjoy the connection with life, nature, satisfying our ancient instincts of the hunter in a modern way. So the least we can do for the fish is respect them. And uh, guys, don't forget to inspect the fish every now and then because I don't know in your country, but in my country it's full of mare eels and congers that <laughs> they will come and take a chunk out of your fish. <laughs> okay, so keep an eye, keep an eye. Guys, if you enjoy my videos, then give this poor bold guy a subscription. Making these videos takes huge amount of time because I do them by myself. So the least you can do to support me is hit the subscribe button and if you are in a good mood, share my video. Lots of love from your Greek guy. Let's continue. Let's try some more, shall we? For one more time, I will cast Gravity Runner as far as I can and I will allow it to go mid-waters or a bit lower. Then I will start retrieve from there. If there are any groupers or other predators around, I'm very sure that they will not resist on a very natural looking saddle brim. Once I retrieve half of the distance of the cast, I will allow Gravity Runner to go a bit low and start retrieve from there. This usually does the trick. It seems that I have a nice fish, but it's not a grouper, and the conditions get stronger and stronger. Ah! 
so fishing is easy, eh? Lunch time. Uh, fried uh, atherina fish, uh, tomato, local tomato, local onion, and handmade bread. Mm -hmm. nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Energy time. It's been three hours since the first cast. This is a bit confusing, but sometimes you see a video with uh, five casts and five fish and you think that it's like that. But actually, this can be in a period of five or six hours or sometimes even more. So guys, it's not cast and fish. Also, after each fish I get, I stop fishing for at least 20 minutes, especially when I am in spot fishing like today. I really don't want to cast and animate my lure in front of the fish, cast after cast and fish after fish. This will make them only smarter and reluctant to strike in the future. So, in order to avoid allow them to connect my lure with what's happening, I give them time. My lure is getting closer to the bottom as the sea is whipping my ass. I start retrieve and animating in an aggressive and very attractive way. Once more, my lure is allowed to go to the bottom. Strike one. Strike two, I don't believe it. It seems that the fish got smarter. I don't have many chances to get another one. However, the currents and the hour are perfect. I will try to get at least one more. This time I will risk and I will allow my lure to touch the bottom.
I must be ready to start retrieve at the touchdown. Otherwise, the currents will snag my lure on the bottom. Gravity runner goes up extremely close with the rocky bottom. Let's get closer to the rocks. Let's try some steady retrieve. Strike. Experimenting with different actions sometimes pays off. They actually love it. They go for it like crazy. It's so natural for them. It's a saddle brim, you can see it. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> but I need only one. I don't think I have to show anything else. Saddle brim works as a color in all Mediterranean and probably on other parts of the world. It works. It's a strong color, flashy, natural. Ah, it's going to be a really interesting year. What do you think, huh? Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.